Hi guys, welcome to the third episode of Light Convos with me, Janet Lulonde. So, in this episode, um, I'm going to talk about the lessons that I would like to practice in 2023. Uh, generally, I know um, we are almost the end of the first month of uh, 2023. It's the third week of um, January of 2023. But there are lessons that I want to practice this year because 2022 Generally, it was all about learning and unlearning. So there are uh, lessons that I would like to um, carry forward, and there are some behaviors that I would like to uh, let go of them. Uh, as I've always said, um, we are not perfect. I am not perfect. But this life, it's, it has always been um, a work in progress. Yeah, it has been about learning and it's also good to learn about what you'd like um, to work on in future. So there are just five lessons, sorry, not ten, five lessons. So uh, the first, the, fa the fifth one, I'll start from the fifth one up to the first one. So the fifth one is not to expect validation. Okay, not to expect validation. By that it means I do not have to do something uh, so that I can um, I can expect someone to compliment me in return, to tell me that they're grateful or anything, um, to tell me that um, uh, to congratulate me for what I've done. No, just do the right thing because I've learned in this life when you do the right thing, the right thing will always follow you. So at number five, not to expect any, any validation. If you feel that something is right, that is what I'll be doing, okay? Not to expect anything in return. Always do the right thing. The right thing will always follow you. Uh, number four, always be grateful. Always be grateful. Even for your health, be grateful. For your friends, be grateful. Family, anything. Uh, if you have a roof above your head, be grateful. Um, I just realized that last year, I, uh, maybe you cannot be content with whatever you have. But in life, I've realized there is so much to be grateful for. Like, um, we always, as human beings, I know, we always want more and more. You get this, you want this. You get this, you want this. So I always, I've, I, I'm going, I've unlearned to stop whining and I'm learning to always be grateful, to be grateful for life, to be grateful for the opportunities God has given me to, to be grateful for a lot of things, you know? Yeah. As, as much as we are working towards a certain goal, um, I'm grateful for whatever I have right now as I work towards, um, what I want to achieve in future. So I'll always be grateful. Um, every day I'll always be telling God, thank you and telling the universe, thank you because, um, I'm blessed and uh, I'm grateful for whatever I have. I do not take it for granted. So the third one is measuring my words. Mm -hmm. Mungu, nifundishe kunyamaza. Measuring my words. That is something I always tell God. God, grant me wisdom. Grant me uh, knowledge. I, I I don't know. Just to tell God, I just want to measure my words. Yeah, whatever comes from my mouth, I just have to measure them. They they will always be words that bless uh, and all that. So I want to measure my words. Maybe not to talk too much about myself. Not to expose myself too much. Talk when it's necessary. Yeah. Yeah, so it's also, it's all about learning. I've always said it's a, it's um, work in progress. So measuring my words at number three. Number two, it's um, always be myself. Not to try too much. Because I've learned um, in 2022 and the previous years, 
um, it has been learning. Like I've been learning a lot and I'm learning too. Um, you know, at some point you can be very kind to people and what you get in return is something different. So um, I'll always be myself. Uh, you know, sometimes you might be kind and then you get something you did not expect and be like, ah, no, I'm not going to be good anymore. Like maybe you can lend someone some uh, cash. Okay, I'm not saying that I usually lend money, but that is just an example. Let me say I've, I've lent you some money, then uh, you do not re refund on time. So I'd be like, ah, me, I'll not be lending money anymore. You see, and then maybe you'll have someone who's in need and they want you to help them out. So I think you'll be okay with limitation. Yeah. Uh, so the the point that I'm trying to say is um, just be yourself. Don't try too much. If you have a good heart of helping, just be you. And don't like try to overdo something so that people can like you. There are people that even if you try, I don't know how much you try, they'll just not like you. They'll not. They'll always see the negatives because it's in their mind. So, you know, you can not try to um, impress them. So don't try to impress anyone. Uh, just be myself. Then um, the first, the, um, uh, okay, uh, just be myself okay so that is it uh then the last one is not to take things personal that one i'm learning i'm learning and i'm really hoping that this like if this year or the coming year but most especially this year yeah i i, I try so hard uh, not to take things uh, personally I, I know when uh, someone tells me, ah, Janet, you know you are a god. I will sit and be like, ah, why did this person tell me that I'm a god? Hmm? But deep down, I know that I am not a god. I do not have horns. I do not have fur. You see? So, I am not a god. Okay? So, um... I'm learning not to take things personally. Yeah. That is something that I have to learn, not to think, take things personally. Because sometimes, you know, people, uh, uh, I've learned that some people, when they tell you something, especially people who are careless with words, um, they, can, they just say and they'll not remember whatever they have said. But you who tries to be very careful, you'll be there and be like, why did this person tell me this? But for them, they'll not be remembering anything. So, you know, for them, uh, they'll not remember that they've said anything. So, um, so that is something that I'm learning, that I not to take things personally, because we are dealing with people from different backgrounds, different upbringings. Some people are hurting and they tend to um they tend to take it out on you so uh and it's not it's not that they mean it's not their fault you see sometimes life can really be hard on us so um bottom line it's not but i'm not encouraging you that if your heart just take it out, out on anyone no so that is something that i'm 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 learning this year not to take things personally yeah i know we are just the end of january and that is something that i want to practice from uh, from february onwards not to take things personally because that has been my biggest weakness taking things personally you can just tell me something small and i'll be like what why did you tell me that you see but you know in this world i know we are dealing with people with different characters different upbringings so different personalities so that is it number one not to take things personally so as i wind, I wind up um this podcast of light conversations um what i'm going to uh, practice next 
this year i just want um to be a blessing to people even if i cannot help you even my words can be a blessing to you because now that i've grown up um okay um for the experience that i've had in the previous years and also now that i'm a mom a new mom uh, there are people that have been so good to me that I remember them even if uh, we have not talked for more than six years there are people that I remember they've built me maybe I was getting some discouraged at some point and they came up and they tried to be nice they talked to me and they helped me work on myself uh, view life positively so I would like to be someone that builds okay even my words, I want to use words that build because words have power. If you watched the previous episode, uh, the second episode, I hosted my dad and he said that words have power. So I want to limit whatever comes from my mouth, maybe words that build and not words that destroy. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye. And thank you a lot for your support. Bye-bye.